Central. It was supposed to be a comedy drama sci-fi, and I, I love Adam McKay. I, he's one of the reasons I want to be a comedy writer. Growing up, I watched him on all his stuff on SNL. I worked with him on The Big Short. I felt like this just showed how out of touch he is with the new generation, with comedy nowadays, and it was like such a sad man's version of satire. It was just so political. And I think if one thing we've learned is this, that people get so political, but you can only take so much of it, especially in the comedy form. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm tired of being beaten across the head by the same politic comedy that I think Adam McKay just like drove into the ground. And it's too loud. And it's not that funny. Yeah, and it's also a funny thing. Oh, I'm just going to say, if it had been less one-sided, because I feel like, if anything, the pandemic has demonstrated there's plenty to go around, <laughs> and there was a lot of one-sided bashing, when there's so much material all across the board, and I feel like that shows a lack of integrity when you're making political, political satire. Well said. Yeah. I think, uh, when we decided our favorite comedy joke is the, the best ongoing joke for the whole show. The only joke. The only joke that we have. The only joke that we have. Yeah. <laughs> 
presidential son is going to be like, hey, can you put a bag over their head? Anyone that knows anything about the military knows you don't do that anymore. No, they also feel like that felt flat. Okay. Yeah. That was awesome. I think that was supposed to be their follow-up to the Ethan Hall snacks joke, that he doesn't need to put a bag over his head, but he thinks it's funny, so he does it. And that one fell flat. The snacks one still holds up. Also, <laughs> Melanie Linsky, who plays Leo's wife, I would have loved her way more if she had been like, get the fuck out of my house when you come back. I felt like that's where it was going to go. Yeah, I felt like, yeah. Well, they had to have some redeeming character, and yet they even turned, like, Leonardo DiCaprio's character, who's supposed to be, I thought he was going to be straight to get through it, to, like, push the one true fact, and then he turned into a scumbag. Weak. For his character. And then, yeah, and then they take you home to his family, and you meet them all at dinner, like, it's going to be this happy-go-lucky reunion, when you're like, did we just forget that he's been cheating on had a terrible encounter yeah. with the wife? And you're like, why is this now suddenly okay? Because we need to bring this movie to a screen. Yeah. Well, it doesn't play a whiff well. Yeah. Um, so I was just going to say, I think it was, the joke was supposed to be that he was the one who gave in to all the fame and, like, bought into the, like, yeah. media machine and then wow. he his character. So going, wait, what? Like, what just happened? And I just don't think it. Yeah, but she dropped off, too, because she went and, like, played with Timothy Chalamet's character, who makes no sense to me. Yeah. And so they both kind of dropped off, so then you had no one to root for. I do think that, I didn't particularly like Timothy Chalamet's character, but I do think he had one of the most sincere moments in the movie. I mean, I was at the very end, that was not the only time in the movie. I was like, oh. I think that speaks more to him. Yeah, no, I think it had everything to do with his character. I also feel like, this is just me, but if scientists were like, we're going to die in six months, I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, I think most of the world would like hear it, not take it seriously, and then you start like reading up on it. And if you have any kind of like, just the, the comedy behind the politics that followed up with that is like, what is the world supposed to be thinking right now versus what they want them to do in the movie? Do you know what I do like, though? I like Ron Perlman. He was in the rocket, and he's like, "You guys should go on and listen." And they're like, "Oh, he doesn't mean it." Different generation. I guess it's a good question. Is there anything that is redeemable about the movie? I like to be real. I like to be real. Street getting eaten by whatever that alien was. That was funny. That was good. Who left? So Matt's pieced out during the credits. Did you see the very when John Hill survives? Yes. Oh, wow. So he comes out from where he they left him with his mom's purse, and he's like, Mommy? And then he like, opens his phone and he's like, Hey, y'all, last man on earth. And I was like, Yeah, that's that's pretty funny. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. He was one of the best people in the movie. Yeah, but he's so, so funny. Yeah, John Hill. Some, some of the things he says, though, like, we know they're comedy bits. I do it frustrates yeah. me. The things that he says, he like, he comes yeah. with a joke that I'm just like, drop it, drop it, just kill it, just stop. Like, it was funny the first time. But, like, he runs with a joke, and I appreciate his comedic timing. I like him as a comedian, but, like, this movie just, well, it takes the whole movie, just ran with something to its death and kept going, and it was not appreciated. We well, just felt like, it felt like uh, the kind of joke someone with no real perspective would make. It's like, I'm going to make jokes from yeah. a very narrow point of view that have no universal application to, like, people at large because they're not hitting at some universal truth. Mm-hmm. They're just getting to this very small percentage of people is going to find this funny because they all agree with everything that I think. Well, I guess it feels the same as right now with celebrities posting about stuff in other countries, and you're like, shut up. Shut up. No one, you don't have to comment because you're not a news anchor. We don't care what you think. These are those people. Yeah. Everyone in this movie. These are those people. Yeah, I mean, I guess it just really shows the bubble that, you know, Adam McKay and Blair Rose have themselves like they find themselves in. Because all of that was yes, all of that was approved. It was shot in the day. People were probably laughing on set. And I probably had a really good vibe about it. And I came out. Which goes back to what I've been saying. And I told all of you guys this, and I say this all the time. I would rather make content for the world mm-hmm. than the Oscars. I want my brothers and my parents and everyone to think it's funny. I think it's a little distasteful, but it's still funny. Versus my yes men filmmakers who are completely out of touch. I say as we're recording. So, <laughs> 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 Thank you. 